So come along as I drive into a Tesla. Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today we are at Woodcroft. We've just finished pulling off this five kilowatt system. There was only a limited roof space here that didn't have shading issues. So what we've done is we've used a high efficient panel. Uh, just behind me, you might be able to see in the same footprint, we've been able to fit 11 and a half kilowatts of solar. Now, the reason for going bigger with the solar system is because this customer wanted an additional Powerwall 2 battery. Uh, we actually secured uh, some of the last ones in Australia. So we've got a handful left. If you're interested, shoot us a DM. Um, but yeah, we've um, stacked that with an existing one. Um, so based on our figures, this customer isn't going to get an energy bill again. And by adding that second power wall in, uh, now has uh, even more backup capability than what he did beforehand. Today we are down in beautiful Woodcroft installing a second Powerwall 2 to a customer's existing site. It's a bit more in depth compared to your SIG Energies or SunGrow systems where you can just stack them on top. We've got to drill a hole in the front of this one today and the Tesla's stack in front. So come along as I drill into a Tesla. So with the Powerwall 2, there's no pre-existing hole or anything to tap into. So Tesla give you this beautiful little bit of kit here, just a little template so you know exactly where to drill your hole. And it goes in like this. So that was the template. It's now given us a perfect little mark there as to where our hole needs to go. So we can stack that other Tesla Powerwall 2 in front. So we're standing next to the Tesla Powerwall 2 batteries. The one behind was existing. Due to the location and space available, we opted to go a stacked battery. So we put the new one in front of that and it looks very neat. The reason we've gone for another battery is not only from the increase from 13 and a half kilowatt hours to 27, it also has a five kilowatt inverter in each one. Now, what that actually means is if the homeowner was using more than five kilowatts of energy in the house with just the one battery, the system would pull additional power from the grid. So uh, that might be a scenario when you're, you know, you're, you're cooking dinner, you've got the oven going, the heater's on, a loaded washing or whatever it might be. When you consume a lot of power like that, it would typically have to pull power from the grid. Now, by adding in a second one, now we've got 10 kilowatts of inverter. So they can use up to 10 kilowatts of power in the home at once and not have to pull power from the grid. The whole concept of this system is avoid purchasing any power uh, and any costly power. So this system will do exactly that. Now we'll uh, show you the boys getting it all installed. So we paired up that 11 and a half kilowatts of solar with this 10 kilowatt SunGrow inverter. We're using SunGrow inverter because they're a very reliable brand, uh, got a 10 year warranty. And the big thing with solar is that you wanna be using products where if something does go wrong, you can jump on the phone and get a hold of tech support or an engineer. So we have a direct number with the SunGrow engineers. If there's anything on site that we're not sure of or something's not working properly, we can easily jump on the phone and there's a lot of manufacturers that don't have that accessibility for the tech support when you need it the most. Thanks for watching guys. If you do want to take advantage of these battery rebates that are available in South Australia, get in touch with us. Otherwise, if you just want to follow along the next project, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe.